Welcome back. If Christmas comes and goes and you don't quite get what you want, well, hopefully you get what you need, there's always the lottery, right? So the Mega Millions jackpot is up to at least $321 million, and that drawing is tomorrow night. If you have time between the family and the stuffing and all those presents, head on down and grab your ticket. And you should know what the weather is while you do it. Huh. Daryl, how's it looking? Weather's going to be pretty good, but let's focus in on that holiday treat, eggnog. When oh. was the last time you had some of that? I love the stuffing. You know, I love it. I don't think it exists in Israel. Really? <laughs> well, you're not in Israel now, so you shouldn't have any problems finding it. I should have it. some right here. Did you bring me some? <laughs> no, I didn't. I have to pick some up myself. Yes, but uh, we'll have to as do far that. as that's concerned, a lot of people like it in um, warm. I know a few people who like it that way. Some like it with a little additive to it. How about you? I will have to figure out what I like and get back to you once I have more experience on this eggnog. That's but called the safe answer, folks. <laughs> Let's get right to the weather, find out what's going on outdoors. A lot of people are heading out to the area airports, dropping off, picking up. Make sure you're calling ahead to find out what's happening with your specific carrier. But right now, we're not showing any delays out there whatsoever, which is good. Weather's quiet, and we're going to continue to have a fairly quiet weather pattern. The next best chance of wet weather looks like it'll be Thursday going into Friday. And it will be in the form of rain as our temperatures are expected to rise. 43 degrees outdoors at this time. Central Park still showing an overcast sky. 51% relative humidity. West winds at 18 miles per hour and a steady barometric pressure reading. So we're looking at temperatures 39 to about 43 degrees across the city. We're going to see the temperatures peeling back a bit. We've got 30s and 40s around the tri-state area. And we're pretty close here in the city to where we were just 24 hours ago. Four degrees warmer in Middletown as well as Islip. Hartford, they're about five degrees warmer. Well, we had the clouds. We had a little bit of wet weather in the city last night, north and west of the city. A little bit of an accumulating snowfall out there. Nothing of any major consequence, but you could experience some cold conditions, cold enough, and the wet road conditions, if there's any uh, runoff there, yeah, be careful of some iciness that you may encounter. Looking pretty good for Tuesday as well as Wednesday. Thursday, clouds start to roll in as another storm system moves in our direction. Kind of going into the same pattern that we had last week. This system will be coming in across the country, of course, and we'll be watching out for some uh, warmer temperatures and some rainy conditions as we get closer towards the end of the week, maybe even into the weekend. 32, mostly clear for the overnight. 41 degrees, a mixture of sun and clouds on uh, Christmas Day. Get out there and enjoy it. Be careful on area roadways, partly to mostly clear skies as we go to uh, Tuesday night. So if you're heading back home Tuesday night, it'll be cold, 31 degrees by Wednesday morning. All right, thanks, Daryl, and hopefully if you want to stay warm, keep that eggnog, which I would really like someone to fill my cup with right now. All right, in the spirit of the holidays, well, we want to know how our viewers, you, are welcoming St. Nick. Do you watch Christmas movies or track Santa online? Maybe you sit down to a special dinner as part of the Feast of the Seven Dishes or try to stay awake for Santa. Do you have a chimney? Maybe you don't need one anymore. Perhaps you go to Midnight Mass or you don't celebrate Christmas at all. Either way, you can weigh in online right now at news12.com. If you still have gifts to get, you're really getting down to the wire, but don't worry, we're letting you know what's still open to get the perfect present. And for that, we have News 12's Christy Reader joining us now. Christy, please tell me there are some open options. I've got you covered. There oh, are some options today and tomorrow. And I have to admit, Michelle, I still have a few things to get myself. Oh. And keep in mind, you could also do some DIY gifts with items in your own home. But let's talk stores first. There are some stores still open. Target is staying open until 10 tonight, but they will be closed tomorrow. Most Rite Aid locations, they are open 24 hours. If they're open 24 hours a day, they will be open tonight and Christmas Day. Uh, but always double check. CVS hours, they vary. Uh, some are open until 10 tonight and some are open Christmas Day, but you need to call ahead and select Walgreens, Dwight and Reed stores. They're open until midnight, others until 9 and some are actually open tomorrow. So again, call ahead because certain stores hold different hours depending on where you're headed. And as far as ideas on what to buy as gifts from those stores, well, maybe you could buy some chocolate or sweets and definitely those stocking stuffers. Those are great locations for that. And if you can't even leave your house, maybe bake cookies to give as a gift. Just some ideas to get you through the holiday. Thank you, Christy. All right. If cooking is, well, cooking a big meal, because it's Christmas after all, isn't an option for you because you just don't have enough time to prep all those ingredients, why not dine out 
Most IHOP locations are open regular hours on Christmas and certain Boston market locations are open tomorrow as well. It's always safe to call ahead just to make sure. And of course, what would the holiday be without Santa? Well, it wouldn't be. So like every year, you can track him online using NORAD's Santa Tracker, even getting down to the details of how many gifts he's delivered. And get this, Chris Kringle has handed out more than three billion gifts so far. It's only a matter of time until he makes his way to New York City. An update now on Brooklyn's Boyd Melson, a life spent helping others brought Boyd to the war in Iraq this year. Dan Serafin has more from the sports office. For much of 2018, Boyd Melson was in the Middle East serving his country in the United States Army. Now he's back in the U.S., continuing to do what he's always done, help people. Melson's boxing career actually began in West Point. He became a highly successful fighter as part of the Army's world-class athlete program, boxing all over the world. Last year, though, a fellow soldier asked Boyd if he would take her place for a tour of active duty in the Middle East. Boyd said yes, and he returned from overseas more than a month ago. It's lonely when you're out there. That's a tough part for someone like me, is I really feed off being able to show my affection towards others and we'll have more from Boyd later tonight on News 12 Brooklyn. Begin your day with news that matters to you. Brooklyn News from the team you trust. From the place we all call home. Start your mornings with News 12 Brooklyn. Bensonhurst, you're watching News 12 Brooklyn as local as local news gets.